Hey, Gary, how's it going, man? Hey, man, what's happening? Good to see you, man. How you doing? Good to see you, bro. Good, good. Uh, thank you for doing this, man. It's good to have you on. Appreciate you taking the time. Oh, man, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Uh, absolutely, man. Congrats on the, uh, the new EP. Delighted for you and all the success you're having. Um, how have you, you found the reaction to it so far? You, uh, you, you know, must be delighted. Yeah. Yeah, the reaction's been great. I think, you know, I think everybody was ready for something new. And, um, you know, it's been uh, it's been exciting. It's been fun. And, uh, yeah, just it, you kind of feel like a new artist again. So it's uh, it's been a blast. Yeah, it does feel like I've listened to loads of interviews that you've done, and it feels like you're really kind of reinvigorated by it. You can see the passion and the enthusiasm you've got about this project. So how much have you enjoyed the the freedom to kind of go out there and do it the way you want to do things? You know, it's been incredible. It really has. It's just you know, it's, uh, just want to take advantage of, you know, this whole new start and new season and just, uh, you know, I just, I'm on fire for it really. And, uh, you know, I always wanted to do a gospel record, did it. And, uh, you know, thrilled with that. I've got solo country record coming out in the fall. I got a song in the, the end credit song in the new Liam Neeson movie that comes out next week, you know, called we got fight. And so, yeah, just got a bunch of new stuff going on and, and just uh, thrilled and just been writing my brains out. And, you know, I'm on cloud nine, man. I really am. Well, this new project, uh, it's a religious project, but it doesn't necessarily feel like that musically. It's still very you and there's lots that people can appreciate whether they're religious or not. Um, so how did you kind of approach this project in terms of the sound of it and how you wanted it to sort of fit into the Christian genre? Yeah, I just, you know, I, I just wanted to, you know, it's weird because each song kind of had its own piece of it, you know, but like The Distance was the first song that I co-wrote for the project just because that was in the beginning of the pandemic. And it was like, you know, it's, we all needed some hope. We all needed some encouragement, like, you know, because you, know, you got everybody, you know, you're dying and the jobs and do you get vaccinated? Do you not? You know, so many questions. So uh, with The Distance, it was just like, you know, basically just saying, you know, look, you know, just give it to God, you, you know, you, you can go the distance. Sometimes these things in life, we're going to hit these speed bumps through life. And sometimes it's bigger than us. And at that point, we, you know, we just have to, we have to trust God through it all. So that was kind of where the distance was. And then, you know, just some of my favorite singers and my friends, Jonathan McReynolds and Breland, you know, Breland and I wrote that song. Um, all I see, we wrote that song together in like 20 minutes and, you know, just, he's so talented, you know, we just, we went in there, knocked it out. And the song with my daughter, While I Wait, was a song written by Torn Wells. And, you know, Torn's amazing artist and songwriter. And, you know, and to be able to sing with my daughter, it was just, it was, it was, I never thought about having all those features on there. It's just kind of the way it played out. I didn't stop it. So I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. It's the, duet, the duets record. Let's go. <laughs> Tell us about getting Britney involved because that girl's got one hell of a voice, man. She takes after her dad. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Yeah, she <laughs> she's ate up with it, man. And my my youngest daughter, Brooklyn, is too. She uh, Brooklyn just posted something on her TikTok the other day, and it, that thing just blew up. And it, it's uh, there more to music to come from the girls. That's for sure. Yeah, they love it. Yeah, must be in the jeans. But uh, you, yeah, they you just want to, they just want to be in the UK. That's all they want to do is tour. The Absolutely, UK. man. Well, speaking of the UK, now you mention it. When are you going to come and pay us a visit? Because I know you got this tour in the works. You got to yeah. come and bring it over here, man. Dude, I will, man. I love it over there. I love it. And uh, next year, since it's still kind of, you know, promoters are still kind of, you know, everybody's still really kind of trying to figure out what's open, what isn't, how much, how many people can you put in here or there. But uh, next year, I'm going to uh, definitely, when I put the big tour together for next year, uh, definitely going to have UK on the schedule. You just made a lot of people very happy with that quote, I'm sure, Gary. Uh, yeah, man. Forward to that. But uh, you've sent the, the distance to Christian Radio as the lead single from the project. Um, you've done the whole thing of sending singles to country radio and had loads of success over the years. But is this a totally different ball game to send it to Christian Radio? How are you feeling about it? You know, it, it yeah, it is different, you know, just because people haven't seen me completely in that light. You know, uh, I've always, you know, sang about God in certain places. And, you know, like, I mean, our songs naturally where gospel artists cut them like broken roads been cut by gospel artists and uh my wish has been cut by gospel artists so it's just it kind of transferred that way but yeah it's it's a little different because it's uh you know it's one it's just me and uh 
not the guys. And then the other thing is that, you know, it's, it's, it, I mean, it's full blown. I mean, I've never been, you know, shy about my faith, but uh, you know, it's, it's, it's different. Cause you know, I, I know everybody in country radio and I, I don't, you know, I, I've ran across some of the people in the, in the gospel world, but uh, yeah, it's, man, it's, it's fun. It's really, really fun. And uh, it's exciting. And um, I just love that they're playing the distance and, you know, just excited. The response has been great. I mean, the stories from fans have been, you know, I mean, it's just a truly, you know, it's just truly the reason why you write and you record music. You know, it's the stories of, you know, how that song is, you know, changed their life already. And it's so fresh and new. And it's like, you know what, man, I was sitting here just going, you know, I, I've been out of a job since blah, 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 blah. And I went and applied today because, you know, I heard this song and I, I got a job today. Yeah. You know, it's that kind of stuff that makes you go, OK, yeah, yeah it's bigger than us. Yeah, that's awesome. Man. And uh, I wanted to ask you about a song as well that you performed at the Ryman on the live stream not too long ago. I hope you don't mind me asking about this, but working on Sunday because that oh, is yeah. an that is an awesome, awesome record. Where is it? What's happening to it? Thank you, brother. So that that's going to be on my country record. Okay, that comes out in the fall. I already shot a video for it, and uh, you know it's funny. I wrote that song. Uh, I co-wrote that song probably seven years ago. And it wow. just didn't make one something or whatever. So I just held on to it because I'm like, I'm going to cut this song at some point. <laughs> I'm cutting this song. And uh, and so that was the first song that I actually cut for before the gospel record. I knew I was going to do it. So that was the first thing that I cut. We went back in and, and uh, I cut that. And so I've already got the video shot and everything. So it'll be on the on my, my country record comes out in the fall. Yeah, it gives me a lot of Ellsworth vibes, that track. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love it, it was just such a such a cool way to look at it too. Like, look, I know Sunday's the Lord's day, but look, I don't, if she don't call me back, she, I don't yeah. think I can make it till Monday. So if you can step in here, Lord, I'm ready. <laughs> well, speaking of this country record that you've got coming up, what are we going to expect from that? Is it going to be more of what we what we've come to know and love from the flats over the years, or or do you want to kind of set your stall out as something a little bit different as Gary Lavox, the solo artist? You know, I. You know, I don't, I don't think you can. I don't think you can recreate the wheel when you've been the the front man of a, you know, of a band for twenty years. But uh, I mean, I think there's there's some songs on here that that I don't think Flats would have cut. Um, but there's a song on there called Closure that I love, and uh, Lock. There's there's some really the quality of the music is really really great, and I you know it's just. Flats might have cut some of them, but there I think there's some that they wouldn't have. And it's uh yeah, it's just kind of you know, it's it's kind of my stamp, but I guess I've always put my stamp on everything the flats have done, you know. So it's uh it's 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 gonna be fun. I, I wrote a, a lot of my co wrote a bunch of them. So looking forward to hearing that one. And uh just yeah. going back to the tour finally, Gary. Um I was I was I was actually due to come out and see you guys on the farewell tour. I was going to fly out to Florida, come see you guys. I was like so gutted that it got cancelled, as I'm uh, sure you were as well. So, um, what can we expect from this solo tour? Are you going to be doing lots of flat stuff as well as the new stuff, presumably? Yeah. So my 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 show will be you know I mean I'll be doing all the flat hits, and then I've got you know I'll be doing you know some off my gospel record, and so it'll just kind of be like a big crock pot. Be some off my new country record. Be some off my gospel record. And, you know, I got 17 number ones to pick from. So that it'll just kind of be a smorgasbord of – it's going to be an amazing show. It's going to be awesome. Well, if we're able to get over there, I'm definitely coming out for that because I'm, I'm so excited to see you, see you live again, man. It's well, man, I hope you do. And if not, I'm going to do my best and, and get it on the schedule and come see you over there next year. That's hopefully. what we like to man. Well, Gary, thanks so much for doing this, man. I really appreciate your time. And uh, like I say, hopefully see you very soon. And I'll yeah, you. man. Bro, thank you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely, Thanks for man. digging the music, bro. I love it, man. Always, okay, man. man. All right, man. Appreciate it. See Speak to you later. Take yeah, care. Man.